Hello, my beautiful beings. I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season. I wanted to do a short bonus episode to really close the year 2023 with you all. So this is going to be a really simple, no fluff la, casual episode where I'm going to take a look back on my year, which was a crazy year for me, and just share a little bit of, of my experiences in 2023. So at the very end of last year, we moved into a new house and into a new province. We used to be in the north of Quebec in Canada. We were living in yurts in the middle of the forest. And for you who maybe don't know, in Quebec, pretty much everyone speaks French. And yeah, we decided to move into a town in the very south of New Brunswick, still in Canada, uh, where no one speaks French. Uh, so it's, it's very different from the experience that we had before. Uh, we decided to pack everything up and we traveled south uh, with a car, a U-Haul fully loaded, our kids, our two huskies, and their five pups, who were only five days old at the time. <laughs> we arrived six hours later on December 26th in our cold, so cold house. This house was empty for two years before we came in and it looked rough. It was so rough. <laughs> to be real with you, we actually moved into the ugliest house in the world. It was so ugly. I was supposed to do a YouTube channel about this house and our adventure fixing it. And the channel was actually going to be called the ugliest house in the world. But I changed my mind down the road. And of course, I'm going to get back to that later. So I have to confess, we are a very audacious family. We moved a lot. We unschooled our kids. We lived in a tiny house. We lived in yurts. We lived in cities and in the forests and by the sea. And we're always looking for a new adventure. So New Brunswick was our newest living experience. Did we know anybody that lived in this town? Nope. Did we ever live in New Brunswick before? Absolutely not. Did we ever fix an old house? Not really. But, you know, there's a first time for everything. And as I always say, every experience we encounter is an opportunity to learn something. I remember getting here and arranging a quick bed set up for everybody. The kids were actually so happy to be out of the car. We watched a silly movie. We laughed while eating some local chips. Because, you know, New Brunswick is a potato province. It sounds a little weird to say, but they are just growing a lot of potatoes here. So we just bought like a bag of local chips and we went to bed after eating and watching that silly movie. We were so tired of all that movement and a bit in shock of meeting this new house. The neighbors came to welcome us in the week following our arrival. Everyone was so sweet. Uh, we had a lot on our hands with cleaning the house, which was fully loaded with all the past owner's stuff. There were so many, so many, so many things. It was so crazy. But, you know, we kind of made a game out of it. And we just did it little by little until we could put our stuff in. We organized a better setup for sleeping and we managed pretty well to make this place a little more homey, a little more cozy. We eventually sold the pups when they were old enough to amazing people. Even though we loved playing with those little rascals, they were so cute. It was, it was actually a relief to have them gone so we can focus on fixing all kinds of stuff that were broken in this house. We didn't have a lot of money. Everything was actually more expensive here than when we used to live in Quebec. So over the year, we got used to it. But at first, it was just, it was unbelievable for us because it was so different. Even though we're neighbor, like Quebec and New Brunswick, they're so close together. But a lot of things were very, very different. But yeah, we got used to it. My, my husband finally found a really great job with the local business. And he became very quickly the VP of engineer in this company. Uh, so money was coming in and the winter was over. Uh, so we built a garden. We had visits from, from friends. 
and we went and explored the surrounding and we walked our little small one acre piece of land so many times to get to know it better. We discovered the medicinal plants that were growing naturally in here and we dreamt so many times about all the project that we could just birth in, on this property. Our kids, they got to learn English and they're now pretty bilingual. They made some friends and they enjoy being here. So that's that's a win. And in May, so in spring, I was in a conscious business accelerator. I went into that, that little free program because I was trying to launch my coaching business for the second time. And I had so much fun in this program and I made so many good connections. Um, some of whom I'm still very close with to this day. And I discovered breathwork in this program, which was a game changer. Um, you know, maybe I'll do an episode on my experience with, uh, with breathwork. Let me know in the comments if that would be something that it's of interest for you guys. So near, near the end of the program, I had this powerful hint about starting a podcast. The universe kept on giving me signs that this is what I should do. So I meditated and I, I decided to follow my intuition. So I went on Facebook and I asked my, my network if there was someone who wanted to share their story about living outside the mainstream box. And I had so many people raising their hand. It was... It was just amazing. I felt so blessed. And I saw this as a confirmation that podcasting was actually the right path for me. So I started to meet with all of them. I met even more amazing people. And it brought my faith in humanity back, which, you know, was kind of lost for some time. Uh, so that was, that was great, meeting all of those amazing people and sharing real connection with all of them. Yeah, it was, it was very, very cool to do. So yeah, so I was, it, was, it was so great to talk with all of those beautiful beings and to realize that I wasn't alone and that we weren't alone. We were simply scattered all over the place. And I feel like it's meant to be like that because when, when we're all choosing to shine our light, it's just making a major ripple effect of, of light. So yeah, so I started to record and I started to publish and that was a, it was a thrill. It was, it was thrilling to see my podcast episodes online. It was very fun, exciting and scary all at once. Was it easy? Hell no. Did I hit dips? Oh my god. So many times you guys have no idea. I even got sick at one point, major dip, but I somehow succeeded in healing myself with meditation, Ayurveda, some natural product. Um, so if you're curious about this, uh, my healing journey, I, I published an update in my last episode. Um, so you can go and check it out. I'm going to link it down below uh, for you guys to see it if you're interested in that. So now that 2023 is almost done, I feel blessed for my life. I, you know, even though I, I had some pretty tough moments this year, I also remembered all the good stuff that happened. I have a lot of hope for this next year that is beginning. I'm very excited to share with you this, this new version of my podcast that I'm launching on January 25th. Um, I'll keep you posted on all the detail along the way, but I, I can tell you guys that my, the name of the podcast is Shakti's Gift. You may have realized that the name of the podcast changed um, already. And, you know, in this, this newer version of the podcast, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and what I've learned in studying Ayurveda. I'll also meet with a lot of great women, some of whom you may recognize from the first phase of this podcast. And we're going to have a lot of fun and deep conversation around healing, spirituality and self-care and all that good stuff. So let me know if there is a subject in particular that will be of interest for you and I'll see how I can bring it forward. So thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you guys so much. So for 2024, I wish you love, great experiences, lots of growth and 
a lot of success as well in, in what you want to achieve this year, whatever it may be. So I'm sending you a lot of love and I hope you guys are enjoying this, this holiday season and I'll talk to you very soon. See ya!